Good afternoon. My name is Derek. Welcome to another edition of Shifting Perspectives. Today we're going to talk about boredom, making progress, and showing up consistently in the world. Uh, most of what we're going to be talking about today is from this book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's one of the best books uh, that I've read. I've been uh, part of a book club discussing different books for uh, almost a year, and we started this one back in January and just finished it today. So it took us a good six months to work ourselves through the book, but it's been a fantastic discussion. And as I finished the book um, in the book club and have talked about it several times uh, in between now and then, the number one thing that I walk away with is a statement that uh, James Clear, the author, makes um, on the last page of the last chapter. He says, it's remarkable what you can build if you just don't stop. If you just don't stop, if you keep on showing up, it's amazing what you can build if you don't stop. Success, he says, is not a goal to reach or a finish line to cross. It's a system to improve, an endless process to refine. The destination is not the goal. The journey is the goal. The process is what we're after. And it's amazing what you can accomplish if you just keep going. And to that end, um, he talks about how boredom is one of the key pieces in making progress. Uh, he said, sustaining an effort is the most important thing for any enterprise. The way to be successful is to learn how to do things, do them right, and do it that same way every single time. Uh, improvement is not just about creating habits, it's about fine-tuning the habits. It's about finding the things that make sense to do and doing them. And here's the deal. After you do the same thing over and over and over again, you're going to get bored. He talks about that. Um, I hate doing things that are boring. I really, really do. Um, I have a great track record for quitting things that are boring. Because frankly, they're boring. I don't like doing them. I'll go find something interesting, something adventurous, something exciting to do. But what happens is every time that I go find something interesting or exciting to do, I'm starting over. I'm stopping a process that was working to trade off for a process that I don't know if works yet just because it's something different and something new. And he talks about, let me see if I can find it in here. Um, he said, the greatest threat to success is not failure, uh, but boredom. Because as soon as we experience the slightest dip in motivation, we begin seeking a new strategy even if the old one was working. As I look back in my life, um, I've often abandoned things that were working because they were boring and I would go find something new to do and not do so well at that. But it never crossed my mind until I read this book what I was doing. So here's the being bored. <laughs> here's the doing the things um, that are the same things over and over and over again. Now, ultimately, at the end of the day, we don't, we don't just want to do the same thing exactly over and over. We want to fine tune it. Find the 1% difference that we can make to fine tune uh, the results. But don't abandon the process just because it's boring. Remember, the number one, the number one thing um, that's going to take you away from success is not failure. It's becoming bored. So what do you do when you're bored? Well, you keep on showing up. What happens when you go to the gym and, and you're, um, you're bulking up or maybe you're getting on a treadmill to run, to prepare for a 5K or 10K or marathon or Ironman, whatever, whatever it is, you're going to get bored. What should you do? Keep doing it. We don't do things just because we're motivated. Well, if we do just do things because we're motivated, um, they're not going to last very long because motivation is uh, really just a feeling. So we don't need motivation, we need discipline. We need discipline to do the things that are boring. Um, my family and I were watching American Ninja Warrior reruns this past Saturday morning as we were having breakfast. Um, and one of the competitors um, has been um, in, I think, five or six seasons and she's back. I don't know her name, I wish I did. Um, but she said this thing and I actually wrote it down while I was watching it because it was so important. She said, magical things happen when you choose to do things longer than most people choose to do them. So if you're out there chasing the magic, you gotta go through some boredom. If you're out there to go create things that have never been created before, you gotta get past motivation. You need to tap into the place of discipline. If you're trying to create something that somebody says you can't do that, motivation's not gonna get you there. It's the repetition of doing it over and over and over again. And this is when you gotta realize that the timing of it really doesn't matter. 
the timeline of it really doesn't matter. There's a favorite quote from a coach guru uh, that I like to listen to. He said, there's no such thing as an impossible goal, just an impossible timeline. Because we take these great ideas that we have and we submit them and subject them to this timeline that we think has to make sense because, well, man, if it's gonna take me 15 or 20 years to do it, I'm gonna get bored. I'm not gonna feel motivated to do it anymore. Well, yeah, that's the point. Magical things happen when we push past the motivation. Great things are accomplished when we push through the boredom. I wanna leave you the question from the statement that I read to you at the beginning. It's remarkable what you can build if you just don't stop. What have you stopped doing? What have you stopped doing and then restarted because you find it so interesting to do that you just can't stay away from it? But then the motivation goes away, the boredom sets in, the shiny silver thing over here, the squirrel, chase the squirrel, those things come in and, and, and you stop doing the thing again. You go tinker with those things. Well, those things aren't interesting anymore. So you, you come back to this thing. My guess is, if you're watching this, there's something that you've stopped doing several times and you've restarted it several times because you find it interesting. But if only you could push through the motivation, if only you could push through the, the boredom, it's amazing what you could create. So I don't know what it is. Is it training for a marathon? Is it going and getting your bachelor's degree? Is it going and becoming an entrepreneur and pushing through the six month mark of building a business? Um, is it pursuing a relationship? Is it losing 20 pounds? Whatever it is, there's something that you've started several times and you've stopped several times because you've gotten bored. But just because you got bored doesn't mean it's not worth doing. In fact, sometimes because you got bored means it's a thing that you need to push through. Just because you lack motivation might mean it's just a thing that you need to show up and keep doing tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Success is not a finish line to cross. The amount of weight that you want to lose is not just a finish line to get through. It, it's just a milestone that you run past because success is a system that you engage with. It's, it's a system that you get to refine over and over and over again. If you're going to keep going, you have to establish your identity. He talks a lot about identity in this book. Then he comes back at the end and says, but be careful about your identity. Um, he says this, uh, Paul Graham is an investor and said, keep your identity small because the more you let a single belief define you, the less capable you are of adapting when life challenges you. Some people set out and they, they have great goals for themselves. They say, I'm an athlete and therefore everything I do has to be, it has to go through this filter of being an athlete. Well, that's a pretty big identity of being an athlete and it leaves you pretty incapable of adapting when life challenges you. When you choose an identity, choose one that's flexible rather than brittle. So instead of saying I'm an athlete, he says in the book, how about redefining that identity and saying I'm the type of person who is mentally tough and loves a physical challenge. And that way, if for some reason you stop being an athlete, that identity is still with you of somebody who enjoys and loves a physical challenge and being mentally tough. Instead of saying, I'm the CEO, because that's a pretty brittle identity, because at some point in your life, if you stop being a CEO, your identity is gone. So reframe that identity and say, I'm the type of person who builds and creates things. And that way, whether you're a CEO or an entrepreneur or the president of a company or director of operations, your identity hasn't left you. Your identity is small. Your identity is flexible. Your identity can fit into several different things. So how do you push past boredom? How do you push past the lack of motivation? Well, you tap into this identity that's flexible. You tap into this identity that can pursue things um, as life comes at you and as life challenges you. These seem to be two competing thoughts, but yet they really stem from the same basis. The basis being that you have to be flexible enough to change and at the same time push through boredom. Many successful people hold two completely opposing thoughts in their mind at the same time and figure out how to push through them. So if you're gonna be successful at something, let me encourage you, 
find an identity that's flexible enough to work through life's challenges at the same time showing up every day and doing the same thing consistently when you lack motivation and when you're bored because let me tell you the enemy of success is not failure it's boredom it's amazing what you can do if you just keep showing up and don't stop here's the last question i'll leave you with what is it that's worth doing for you that you've stopped doing and need to restart and not stop this time